Unfortunately, RSV flu and a lot of viruses have peaked really early this year, um, and it's running rampant throughout the region. This is the second straight year RSV cases have popped up earlier than expected, and it's putting a strain on hospitals. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. Doctors say pediatric ICU beds have been filling up across the state. So today we spoke with a pediatrician to break down what parents need to know. WCI3's Chance Sticklin is live in our newsroom for us tonight. Chance, important here, the concern about RSV isn't new. RSV has always been a problem in young children and the elderly. But doctors say COVID precautions over the last few years helped reduce cases. Now they're seeing an increase as a lot of the state has, has opened up. Dr. Jaya Wadahan of OSF tells me she treated a handful of cases in babies. She says there is also a shortage of beds at the main children's hospital in Peoria, so babies are being transferred to other floors. Doctors are seeing a lot of cases in daycares and schools where kids are in close proximity. Dr. Wadahan says she doesn't want parents to panic, but she wants them to be prepared. It's always been an issue before COVID and now even after COVID. They kind of mimic each other um, in the way that, you know, you get the fever, the runny nose, the cough. Um, RSV tends to hit our um, babies a little bit harder. They get the difficulty breathing and sometimes they need the oxygen support and sometimes even IV hydration. She says if families have already experienced RSV, there's nothing new to worry about. They're just seeing cases sooner than expected. She still advises parents to remind kids to wash hands, cough into their elbow, and clean surfaces. Kids can be swapped for the virus. People are usually contagious for three to eight days. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Chance Thicklin, WCIA3, your local news leader, Jess. Chance, thank you. Nationally, the CDC reports up to 80,000 hospitalizations every year for RSV in children under five. The CDC says there's no vaccine, but scientists are working on one.